I've seen this before in baseball, though not under these circumstances. But when I was a kid in 1981, there was a strike. Um, in 1994, there was no World Series. And baseball, the owners have shown, well, first of all, the union has shown a resolve that other sports leagues have not. And the owners have shown a kind of stubbornness, well, that other sports leagues owners have. Um, but if the owners feel they want fewer games played, that means it may not be in their financial interest. They feel in the short run to have a season with more games played. There's as on ESPN.com right now this whole when and where, right? Tony Clark, when and where. Tell us when and where. We're ready to work. In other words, we'll take our prorated salaries. Tell us where to show up, when we start. That's already been negotiated, and let's go. We're not signing any waivers. You know, we're not. We, we, there may be litigation in the future, but when and where? And the owners are saying, no, 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 you'll sign this, or maybe there won't be a season. That's the owners. The players are not saying they need anything new in order to play. It's the owners who are saying, we now need something more in order to pay you your prorated salaries. I think the owners are greedy. I think that they're entitled, and I think that they are willing to shoot themselves in the foot uh, and cause irreparable damage to baseball's place in uh, the American entertainment landscape. It's already third culturally, really, among the major sports behind football and basketball, and, but it could always slip, it could sink lower. If baseball doesn't have a season, it is in big trouble. And I don't think the owners really appreciate the extent to which that's true. I think the owners, all of them, are greedy. I think most of them come across as very unethical. And I think at least a third of them don't want a season because they'll stand to make money, then lose money in their eyes and in their estimation. But I also think that they're not stupid. They recognize that they barely survived and Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa saving the sport of baseball after the World Series was canceled in 1994. They realized how they were on the precipice of an absolute abyss they simply were not going to be able to lift themselves out of at that particular moment in time or at least in the immediate aftermath. Remember, Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa was like 1998. This was like three, four years later after the cancellation of the World Series. So you have to take that into consideration, how long it took them to really revitalize their sport. If they mess this up at a time when the global pandemic is taking place before our very eyes, with us recognizing that it's relatively easy to have baseball because you can literally engage in the sport while also employing social, uh, you know, social distancing all at the same mm -hmm. time because you don't have to be in each other's face, believe it or not. The fact that you would allow these dollars and cents to get in the way of the sport continuing, it's it is an unmitigated disaster. The likes of it's insanity. They will not recover from it, and I think most, the majority of owners are smart enough to know that, and they have the clout and cachet to convince the third of them to come on board with it. I really think it's that simple for me, Max. Stephen A. already. Along the lines, listen, instead of 60 games, have the 70 games, please. Have the 70 to 75 games. It's just that simple because if you, you really think a about it, bit, right. that's basically what the players are saying. Not 60. Give us 70 games, 75 games. Mm -hmm. We got a deal. That's all. And listen These to Dr. Fauci all in terms of all making sure that the NBA MLB season ends sooner than later on the investment of their team. And I just want to say quickly, I'm a huge baseball fan. It was my first love as a team sport. Stephen A., I know you're a huge baseball fan, and your father played professionally at a pretty high level, as my I recall. Father. And my was it, it was yes, in the minor leaguer, right? And, and yeah, yes, and, and so yes. it's not that the, we don't love baseball, by the Giants we don't in talk the about it on this show. It's amazing, because that was a great team in the 50s, the yeah. Giants, Willie Mays. But it's not that we don't talk about baseball because we don't love it on this show. It's that it's such a local sport already. There's not nearly the national interest as there is in, in football and basketball. And we're talking now. Can you imagine if it gets worse?